Hello everyone and welcome back to the Vegan Hill broadcast. I hope you all had a great New Year's and a great Christmas. We're back to keep you updated for things going on in our own school. We want to start by saying a big well done to everyone who took part in Vegan Hill's Got Talent and to congratulate our winners, Fran and Aaliyah. You may have also noticed a poll that has been planted at the back of the school. This is a peace poll, a symbol of peace and reconciliation which has my peace prevail written on it in four different languages and braille. You've probably seen Mr Gallagher at Rain School for one reason or another and this week me and Erin got the chance to speak to him. Oh, and this is Mr Gallagher, he's a friendly face at Rain School. Um, Mr Gallagher's been working at the school for quite a while. How long have you been working at? I've been working here since 2013. It's 2013, so that's about nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Um, what are some of your best memories from being in, working in school in the environment? Um, I'd say some of my best memories are uh, I started off as just a, an exam invigilator, so I started off just working in the summers, balancing it with uh, some college work, some other work um, in other jobs, and then as the years progressed it went to looking after the invigilators, working with the training of them, um, and then helping out um, when we were short with staff, and uh, that's kind of rolled into um, me being a man of many roles in school. So I've quite enjoyed the progression. Um, there's not many things I haven't done around school, so I'd say I know it quite well. And uh, coming here as a student a few years ago, um, that was also helpful, you know, with the role here. So did you have any um, like memories that stand out to you from when you were a student? From when yeah. I was a student? Yeah. Um, I, I really enjoyed secondary school. Um, I know some people like secondary school, some people it's not for everyone. Uh, probably my best time was when I was at school. So um, I played in a lot of the bands at school. Um, I helped out in the Christmas productions, doing the lights and the sound. Uh, we went on some amazing trips. We went to Belfast with Mr. Darmy. Uh, we had a whole day there, so we had to come into school for like what half you, four. What did you do at Belfast? Um, we went to, well, we came to school half past four in the morning, went to Manchester Airport, we flew out to Belfast. We met some ex IRA people who showed us around. They showed us where the troubles had been. We saw the Peace Wall with all the murals on. We got a chance to actually write on them and put, add, put some figures on them because they, they've got like death tolls of different wars. So that when they were updating it, they let us have a go and like paint on there. Um, we got a tour around Stormont, which is like the Irish Parliament. Um, we had a full day there and we got back at school at 11 o'clock at night. Do you ever find it crazy that Mr. Darm used to be a teacher and now you're working alongside him? Yeah, I still call him sir all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Yeah. So before we start recording, you mentioned that you've got a project in Greece that you're working on, mm -hmm. but you also said that you spend a lot of time there anyway, so yeah. what do you like to do there? So since I was about 10, I've gone to the same place, right in the south of Crete, well away from kind of tourists and that. And it's a place my parents went in the 80s and went back to with me. Um, and over the years going back, I made a lot of friends there. Um, as I said, it's quite remote. Um, and now my two best friends live there, my girlfriend lives there, um, and it's almost like I've got a life here and a life there. So um, one of my roles outside of school is I've got a company in road safety uh, and we specialise in young drivers um, and equipping them for their life on the roads um, and improving their driver training. So one of the things I'm trying to set up is a, a road safety project there. Um, and Mr Darmy knows that I spend quite a lot of time there. So when I was there last, he asked if I could find a connection with the local school. So I had a meeting with their local uh, head teacher um, of the local school there which effectively, it's, it's a junior high school, so that means it's from about 12 years old up to about 15, so that's our year 8 up to year 10. Um, and we're going to create a partnership with that school. Hopefully we'll uh, do a few live lessons. They're really interested in doing an exchange with us. Um, so we'll see how that progresses. I know English, the English department have some textbooks that they don't need that we're going to see if they would like, and we're going to uh, send them over there. Um, so. Combining everything I do into uh, everything else I do yeah. is something I quite enjoy. So hopefully it will be something beneficial for our school, something beneficial for them, and something that will be quite fun to do in the process as well. Thank you for speaking with us today and sharing all your uh, interesting jobs. And thank you for having me. It's okay. And thank, thank you. Thank you for watching this week's Beacon Hill broadcast. We hope to be back in a few weeks to update you some more.